All right, new controversy swirling around the Biden family after Elon Musk released internal Twitter files on the company's suppression of the Hunter Biden laptop story. Tucker Carlson digging deep into this and the family's finances in a brand new Tucker Carlson Originals. Biden Inc. Part 1 is streaming now on Fox Nation. Here's a little preview. Schweitzer and his team had a breakthrough when they got access to a copy of Hunter Biden's laptop. We took the laptop and we actually compared it to publicly known sources of information. The Secret Service had released Hunter Biden's Secret Service travel records at the request of the U.S. Senate. So we took the laptop, mentions of trips and travel, compared it to the Secret Service travel logs. They lined up completely 100 percent. It was impossible that the laptop was fake. We identified four businessmen in the laptop. All four of those businessmen have links to the highest levels of Chinese intelligence. So there's a preview for you. And Tucker joins us now on The Five. It's good to have you. There's lots of questions here, so I'm going to kick it around the table. We'll start with Greg for a question with, for Tucker. All right. I, I was going to ask you what's on your, uh, on your originals that's not on Fox, but I, I was, I'm more interested in the fact that you've lived in D.C. for a long, a, a long time. You had lived there. You yeah. ran into Hunter. What would, you, you must have had some, rela not relationship, but some kind of interactions with him. What would you, how would you characterize him in your capacity? Well, I knew him really well, um, and I, I always liked him. I mean, mm -hmm. he's my neighbor and friend and had dinner with him a bunch. I mean, I knew him. Be we talked a lot about drinking. I don't drink. Mm -hmm. He was struggling with that. Um, but in the background, I knew, and I knew people who worked with him in his business, that he was effectively selling access to his dad. Yeah. And I'll just be totally honest about it. I did never really thought about it because I lived in D.C. for 35 years where people sell access to government officials. They're called lobbyists. And that's kind of the business of the city. And I never really thought, wow, that's kind of a crime, though. I knew, and I didn't know the extent of it, of course, but I remember someone who had worked with him saying to me, wow, he's getting really, really close to, you know, what you should not be doing because it's criminal. And it turns out, based on what we know now from the laptop, that it was absolutely criminal. That his, and the reason we made this documentary was not to inform you that he was doing something wrong. Everyone knows that. It was to take a long form piece and explain it and show on the screen exactly how we know this. It's not a partisan attack. It's not attacking the president's son. This guy shared a bank account with his dad while his dad was the vice president. His dad was bringing him on trips, including to China. He was doing business with the people he met on those government trips and kicking back the money to his dad. That's not an allegation that is shown on the laptop, which is why they suppressed it. Mm -hmm. Judge, do you have a question for Tucker? You know, Tucker, the frustrating part of all of this, and I'm just curious as to where you think this all goes, is it, the First Amendment is being poo-pooed. Now that this has been, it's out there, and Elon Musk has disclosed it through Matt Taibbi, they're like, oh, this is old news, this is no big deal. I mean, where is this country going with respect to the First Amendment when it, it's, it's politically instigated? There was a presidential campaign that was instigating censorship from the and against the American people. Well, of course. I mean, you're you're the judge, so you know much better than I. <laughs> As a legal matter, private companies arguably have a right to do with it what they want with information. The government may not, under the Bill of Rights, in the First Amendment to the Bill of Rights, may not censor information, political information in particular. And that's exactly what you had here. We have seen evidence, proof of the fact that the FBI and right. then the Biden campaign and now the Biden administration pressured social media companies, Twitter in this case, to withhold relevant facts from the public on the basis of which people might cast their votes. So that's not an attack on democracy. I don't know how we're defining attack on democracy. You can't have a democracy without the free flow of information. If I don't know the facts about the candidates, I can't vote for them in an informed way. I can't have a democracy. And they prevented the rest of us from knowing things. They did it in secret. And once again, they did it illegally in contravention of the First Amendment. I, it could not be clearer. Geraldo. Tucker, hi. So uh, do you have an opinion uh, on whether or not this information, had it been known, would have uh, affected the result of the election? And if you think it would have changed the result of the election, do you, do you think that President Trump was on to something when he suggested that maybe we have to suspend all the rules and regulations, including the Constitution, because it was such a colossal fraud. Well, one thing I learned, Geraldo, in the midterms two weeks ago is I'm really not good at predicting political outcomes <laughs> at all. Um, so I'm never, I'm never doing that again, <laughs> either looking ahead or retrospectively. I'm never going to tell you what might have happened or what may happen ever again, because I'm bad at it. But I will say, as a matter of principle and law, you are not allowed 
to censor information if you're a government official. And you had the FBI meeting with Twitter and with Facebook and lying, telling those two social media companies, likely Google too, that this laptop they believed was Russian. Well, they had the laptop, so they knew in point of fact that it was not. They lied. Mm -hmm. They're continuing to lie. In fact, the former general counsel of the FBI became the general counsel at Twitter, right. Jim Baker, we just learned about 25 minutes ago, mm -hmm. was censoring, even on Friday, the release of internal mm -hmm. Twitter documents. Elon Musk just fired him, you know, an hour ago. But we have a problem with federal law enforcement, with the FBI, oh, yeah. and we need to fix it. Mm -hmm. Jesse. So the CIA and the FBI knows all about Biden, Inc., and they've known about it for years. So why do you think the FBI and the CIA want Joe Biden to be president? What, that is such a deep question that I can't answer. I have all kinds of suspicions. It's obviously better to have someone you can control. And we've seen this with previous U.S. presidents, including Richard Nixon. Tapes just came out showing this. Here's what we do know. At the very same time that they have allowed Hunter Biden to skate on FARA violations, he was representing foreign governments. He didn't register under the Foreign Agent Registration Act, FARA. They are going after some of the most prominent Republicans in America on FARA, threatening them or indicting them. They threatened Rudy Giuliani, right? They threatened Steve Wynn, one of the biggest Democratic donors. Oh, yeah. Just yesterday, they indicted David Rivera, a Republican office holder in Florida, on a FARA violation. No one's ever been indicted under FARA in 60 years. They haven't indicted Hunter Biden. This whole laptop is one big FARA violation. How can they do that? This boggles the mind. You don't have to be a Republican or a Trump supporter or a conservative. You just have to be an American who wants equal treatment under the law to see this as really scary. All right, Tucker, thanks for giving us so much of your time, and we'll watch tonight. And, of course, you can see Biden, Inc. available on Fox Nation now. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.